I'm at the yard of Gavin Smith, who will be chatting to me about his runners that will be stepping out on Friday. The yard start off in race one with a newcomer, and that is Keen on Kelly. Now, she relocates from KwaZulu Natal, and Gav, she was never far back there. No, not at all, no. It's, um, she came through from my cousin in lovely condition, and uh, expecting a forward run from her. She's doing nice work at home. Another horse that's new to the yard will step out and race too, and that's Hunting Ground. He relocates from the High Felt. He'll race alongside Destiny's Angel. Now, she made her local debut last time out, and she just found one better. Yeah, Hunting Ground, I think, is going to just need the experience needs on the, on the poly as well. Um, just want to find my feet where I am with him. And uh, Destiny's Angel, he ran a cracker last time out, um, yeah, expecting him to be right on top of them again. Another coupling in race three, Adja, he ran on from quite a way back last time out, but it was a steady finish. He'll be joined by Benelong Point. Now, he's placed competitively in both of his later starts, and he does look a horse of interest. Yeah, Adja, it was his first back from a gelding, so expecting a better run this time. Um, and he also, he got caught a little flat-footed, he came out a bit slow. And Benelong's in a good place now, he's, he's holding form smartly and a good, nice race for him. Sprinting in race four, where we will see cruise control not at all disgraced by finishing runner-up position behind his useful stable companion Kaya's Hope in his last start, and he'll be joined by Safe Return. Well, these two boys are in a good place at home, and uh, it's a nice competitive field, and I think they'll run us decent type of races now. Ikwembula Bessi Fazan in race five, while she's been freshened up, she raced off the back of her third career win. Jade's Cabernet will join her, and uh, she was uh, bumped at the off of her last start. Didn't get as close as maybe she could have. She can do better. Yeah, Jade's expected better last time. Like you say, she, she was bumped as they, as they jumped out, and she was just caught far too far back. And uh, Ikwem, she's in a good pace at home, and uh, holding form smartly right up a race. Her. She does her stop weight to carry, but um, she deserves to carry it. The feature of the afternoon is the Fairview 1900, which is a non-black type event, and here the yard will be represented by a handful of runners. We are going to start off with Jäger Moon, who is back off a break, and Cherry Anu. He is in the deep end last time out, straight into the Algoa Cup off the gelding, and he can do better. Uh, Jäger Moon, uh, he may just need a hard race to bring him back up to peak. Now, he's doing good work at home, but a race is, is a race. Um, Cherry... I'm um, expecting better. It was his first run back from, from a gelding. He, he was also caught a little bit flat-footed. Um, he's doing good work at him. Next up, bold resolve and peace in our world. This fellow ran second in last year's edition and he's in the form to be competitive again. A bold resolve also good, good work at home. He's in a good place, expecting a forward run. And peace is flying at home. I expect a nice run from him. And Zatara Magic will be the final runner in the lineup for the feature race from the yard. Last time out, good second over course and distance. Yeah, he was a little stiff last time out. Um, Lee still said if he knew him and got him going a bit earlier, he would have run even closer. So, um, yeah, expecting a fair run from him as well, Nate. Aerial View and Idabel will line up in race seven, which is a Phillies in May 76. Right top of race for them. Um, Ariel comes in at the top top end of the scale um, and doing well enough at home and Ardabel as well. You know, the little step up from the 14 to the mile she's going to enjoy. One runner in the last of the afternoon for the stables, that's Charlie Malone. Now, he was a good winner last time out, but he has moved up eight points in the ratings. Gone up quite a bit in the rating notes, um, but he did win well enough. Track and trip suits, uh, you know, and he's, he's doing well at home, so expect him to be knocking again. Nice feedback there for Charlie Malone. He was a comfortable winner last time out and no doubt that he does have a shot in the proceedings in race 8 on Friday.